hello everybody. I'm not going to say guess what day it is because you know what day it is. It's Tuesday and Julie and I are coming to you live from the wonderful, welcoming, lovely, cool, cool, <laughs> North Walpole Town Library. And uh, we are here to review some new books. An oldie but goodie, and oh boy, have I got one for oh you. Oh boy, do you. Oh, and, and so that's what we're doing. So, anyway, have, Julie, how are you? I'm good, Carolyn. Oh, But good. I'm melting away, as I'm sure everyone else oh, is. Oh, I know. But tomorrow, <sighs> the, the weather is supposed to break. It's supposed to be cooler. So that would be really, really good. I am, I am cat sitting with the cutest little kittens, <laughs> but you know, they, they just want to be so close to you. And when it's warm like this, it's, yes, it's, it's, I can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> so when one is sleeping on my head and, uh, oh. you know, sometimes, it, but uh, they are the sweetest cats. I just want them <laughs> to death. But anyway, without further ado, and you, we will start with... Yeah. Susan Mallory. Oh, such a good summer such read. Such a good summer. Actually, this is large print, but that shouldn't discourage anybody. It doesn't discourage me. I love it. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. No work. <laughs> and this captivating uh, tale, is, title is the, the Boardwalk Bookshop. <laughs> so, you know, I think this, I, I love the cover. Yes. You know, I'm, I'm crazy about covers. And this is really summery, and it looks mm -hmm. like a beachy boardwalk kind of thing. She's always good for a summer read. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She, and yeah, nothing says some summertime than Susan Mallory. Yep. And this is a good tale about fate, <gasps> bringing three strangers to a space police on the California coast. The boardwalk bookshop is born. It's a dream, dream come true for Bree, Nikki, and Ashley. But while their business is thriving, their personal lives are not. This is a good read. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. Ooh. I like how she writes about friendships. She does a good job writing yeah, about friendships. Yes, she does friendships. Yeah. And, you know, and, and we're, uh, you know, a, a quantity of women. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And um, and it's and it's funny how you you read a book about women who were fast friends, and it takes your mind back to when when you were young and and you, your first best friend yep. was sitting next to you first grade, yeah. and and you know and you keep those friendships so so close and you know I you know a lot of really nice friends, but those. Friends that you, that you meet is. Those is, ones that you know are gonna be in your yeah. life forever. Right, right. Mm -hmm. No matter where you are. Right, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, this is a really good mm. book. It looks fascinating. Good summer read. Yep, and yeah. it's still summer. And it's still summer, <laughs> my goodness. Oh, <gasps> Susan Wick. Who doesn't love Susan Right. <laughs> and look at that cover. Oh look my gosh. That cover is right. Oh. I mean, wouldn't you like a bite of that cake? I would. Did you coordinate yourself to match perfectly with it? Well, because I, you, you know, do. I, well, I give it a chance. But anyway, this looks good. And it's a great title Sugar and Salt. Mm. Sweet and salt. Sweet and salt. One of my favorite combinations. Right. And it says, Susan Wiggs will make you believe in life's sweetness. And I think this cover's beautiful. <laughs> you know, everybody loves Susan Wiggs. They do. And this is quite a tale. Everyone has a past. Oh. It's who you are now that matters. That's true. <clears throat> and that's words to live by. Isn't I think it? so. Yeah. yeah. And this is also just just a beautiful <laughs> beautiful cover. I know. I think we should if we cut <clears throat> it open, it would be all layers with frosting in between. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, this uh, Garth Stein, <clears throat> 
who wrote the um, the art of racing in the ring. Oh, I love that book. He's full of love, full of the love of words, the love of family, and the love of falling in love. Mm. Oh, okay. The Lost and Found Bookshop Bookshop is a big-hearted gem of a novel that will satisfy and entertain readers from all walks of life. Lovely. That's right. I forgot she'd written that too. I think that was her last yeah. big summer book. And Sugar and Salt. Mm. Very good. Yes. I love this cake. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to have a piece of it. <laughs> well, that's a good one. Boy, we got a bunch of good ones. We did. Oh. Ooh. Key of Deceit mm -hmm. by Ashley Weaver. <gasps> oh, what is this? A peculiar combination of thorny relationship between Ellie and Ramsey, a cast of colorful characters, mm -hmm. a brisk pace, and an iconic message about the identity of true patriots in Thoral. Hmm. And on the cover, it Look lo that, that looks cover. like um, looks like a spy movie. Uh, that bridge in, Lon in, in in London, London. not the London Bridge, because but the other no, one. The other one. Yeah. So is it set? It might be set in London. Well, it doesn't say. Mm. This is a new series that sparkles. Mm. I love these woman detective, detective series. Very I nice. Know. It has a Reese Bowen look to it. Yes. I thought when I first saw it come in, I said, is yeah. that a Reese Bowen oh, book? Yeah. Yep. This is, I know, but I just love this cover. An Electra McDonald. What a name. What a name. Yeah. Morning becomes Electra. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, this looks like a really good one. It does. I it think does. I might take it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm going to leave it here for some, some lucky person to come and get it. To deceive. <laughs> okay, this is Stuart Woods. Mm -hmm. I have um, I read a lot of early Stuart Woods, and I really uh, I really liked the way he wrote, and I like this character Stone Barrington. Mm -hmm. um, and th this is a beautiful cover. <laughs> it's like the black door. Actually, the black door doesn't refer to a real door. Oh. Which is what I thought that's right. right. That's probably why you picked it up. That's why I picked it up. <laughs> but, uh, but I love this cover. Mm. And the thing I like about this series with Stone Barrington mm. is that it's all in New York City most of the oh, time. Oh, that's the cover. I'm just turning off the air conditioner for a minute because I feel like it's competing with you. Oh. It is not the star of the show. You are. That's right. <laughs> and I, 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 I love this cover in New York City, and, but now uh, Stone Barrington has, um, is now in New York City in a firm that he's acting as a lawyer, which I guess he always had that lawyer thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but there are so many of his adventures that took place in Florida and other places. <laughs> And uh, I think he he has lost his the woman that he was married to, whose name Arrington. Mm -hmm. That's when I lost kind of like what Arrington Barrington. <laughs> but anyway, this is a, this is a really good. It's all about upper class money people Ooh. in Manhattan. <gasps> wow. I know. So since we're not. Um, Upper class, upper class moneyed or in Manhattan. Manhattan. <laughs> it's good to delve into this. It's, it's a really good storyline, good mystery. And I I think he stew it as redeemed himself. Oh good. With oh, this good. Book. So this is this is a good one. I'm almost finished with it. Mm. So but I, as I'm cat sitting, I have to hide the cover from the cats. <laughs> Because they see the word dog and they go, uh-uh. Oh, uh, they get all upset. Yeah, yes. but it's not really about a dog. <laughs> but, but anyway, this is good. I love this cover. Yeah. And look at the back. Look at that. They're uh -huh. pretty. I mean, it's, it, it kind of reflects this. Reflects the this. Front, yeah. The front, so 
Okay, Stu. Now, that. I am excited for this next book because you talked to me a little bit about it. Now, I want to pick it up and read it. Okay, so my oldie but goodie mm -hmm. this week is a book by Leon Uris, who is a wonderful writer. Mm -hmm. And this book uh, is about the aftermath of, well, and he, they go back and forth in history. And this writer writes a book about the Holocaust in World War II. And he puts a, a short couple of lines about a Polish doctor who worked in the, uh, the death camps mm -hmm. as a doctor. And the doctor has, did work. He's a Polish doctor conscripted by the Nazis and put to work in one of the death camps. And <clears throat> it doesn't go into, doesn't delve too much in what he did in the camps up front. But um, anyway, he, the war is over. He uh, not escapes, but he goes to London, England, and, and sets up a, a, a practice there. And, you know, he has a son. And, he spent a lot of time in uh, Africa helping native people. Uh, so <clears throat> we don't know too much right up front about what he did during this, this war really, in the death camp. But anyway, this, uh, this writer, Ben, he has a, like a couple of lines paragraph about this Polish doctor. And one of his sons, his adopted sons, uh, saw the book and said, you have to do something about this because that's wrong and shouldn't blah, blah, blah. And at first the doctor doesn't, doesn't want, you know, he says, let's forget it. But they, the sons push him to file a defamation of character suit. Ah. And <laughs> therein lies the, the tale. Uh, and the and. The story goes back and forth between early um, early years of, of both these people, the, the protagonists and the uh, the agonists. <laughs> <laughs> so, and <clears throat> but it's a it's a tale that goes back and forth. Back and forth. there's a lot a lot of information mm -hmm. um, in this book about those years. Mm -hmm what they do to people. And it's, it's just increasingly, it's, 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 I don't know if I would say summer reading it. <laughs> I mean, it, it's, it, it's, it's heavy in some places, mm -hmm. but so well written and so informative. And well, and it makes me think, can you make up for what, what he was probably forced, I don't know for sure, but forced to do, can you make up for that within a lifetime of good works? Because that's what it sounds like he tried to do, right. was then go from that to a lifetime right. of good works. And can you, do, do, does that equal out? Well, well you look at that face. <laughs> well, you have to read the book to find out. I'm definitely going to read the book, yes. Yeah, it, is, it is very good. Yeah. Not a, not a very easy read, but... Mm -hmm. So, so informative. Historically. Yeah. It's just a gem. So, mm. so if you mm. didn't read this the first time around. Read it again. Read it again. Yes. So. All right. So that's it for this week. Whoo, Carolyn. That was I a whirlwind. <laughs> and so, but don't forget, Sneak Peek Saturday. <laughs> that's where I'm going to read the first page of a new book to get to whet your appetite Ooh. so you come and get a new book or an oldie but goodie but something to read excellent and you know what as i was headed out the door this morning to come here from the walpole library the ops man came with the big box of books <gasps> yay, yay! <laughs> <laughs> he walked in the door it wasn't e and it wasn't the regular guy and he walked in the door i'm like yay and he just looked at me <laughs> i'm just delivering <laughs> But that's why we we are here in this library uh, because we love books. We love books. We love books. Yeah. Windows to the world. <gasps>
Oh, I like that. Oh, no. Shock. I, I would say, well, I would like to claim <laughs> an original <laughs> statement, but no, that, that's from, I think, a TV program. Oh, re yes. yes. It was the hiking show yes. on New Hampshire Public TV. That's right. Windows, Windows to, to the, the Wild. Wild. No, was it World Wild? I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. Well, <laughs> whatever. Anyway, a good book is a window to the to world. To the world. Perfect. And on that note, Thank you, Carolyn. And thank you, Julie. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. Bye.